What's up guys? We're back again with the help of a sponsor this time, Zwilling and our good friend Cottage Cheese. We put it into our eggs, cheesecake, mac and cheese, and even protein bars with success. Today, we get even more adventurous and throw it into an absolutely delicious creamy tomato soup. The soup is super calorie friendly, great for volume eating, easy to make, and packed with protein. So let's jump right into it. P.S. Earlier this year, I asked you all to choose who you thought would be in the Super Bowl this year. And the first one who got it right was Bang. Congrats to you. Continuing with this, let's do another giveaway for the Super Bowl. Hit that thumbs up button for cottage cheese, subscribe, then drop a comment with what you think the exact score will be for each team. If someone guesses this one right, I'll send you a bag of protein and a shaker bottle. Start this one with a lined baking sheet. Add right onto it five ounces of baby or chopped up carrots, one chopped up onion, and a 28 ounce can of whole peeled tomatoes. Don't dump the can directly onto the pan. Individually remove the tomatoes and put the can off to the side. Pour a little olive oil over the top and mix everything around to coat it. Finish with a little salt and pepper. Put your pan into the oven on 375 for about 50 minutes or until they're roasted like this. Next, take out a powerful blender or food processor. Today, I'm using my Zwilling Infinigy Power Blender, which is packed with 1400 watts, break proof, heat and cold resistant, has a tamper to push your ingredients down, and much more. I'll link it below if you want to check it out. Add into it the rest of your whole peeled tomatoes can, three cups of a low sodium bone broth, four teaspoons of minced garlic, five tablespoons of tomato paste, one and a half teaspoons of oregano, four tablespoons of basil pesto, one cup of our good friend cottage cheese, which you can't taste at all if you're worried, a pinch of salt, fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, and your roasted tomatoes. Blend all those ingredients up until smooth. Don't forget, the entire nutritional breakdown, substitutes, and metric conversions are always listed on the recipe page on the proteinchef.co. Last, take out a saucepan, turn your burner on low, and pour your mix into it. Let that heat up thoroughly for around 15 to 20 minutes, making sure to stir it as it heats up so it heats up evenly. In the end, it should look like this. There you go. It's pretty quick to prep and I usually get around four servings with this. If I want more protein in it, I'll add some pre-cooked chicken into the saucepan as I'm reheating it. Little protein pro tip there, rotisserie works great. Now speaking of servings, let's talk about the sponsor of this video. I love storing mine in these glass willing fresh and safe containers. They come with this vacuum pump that works with a variety of other containers like where I store all my most used ingredients. I've been using all of these things for around a year now. And they've held up great. If you want to check this product out or any of the other various willing products you've seen throughout this recipe today, I'll throw links and my coupon code below in the description. With that said, thank you all for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this one. Don't forget to guess the score, the Super Bowl. Subscribe if you haven't already, so you never miss a recipe. Check out theproteinchef.co for all your healthy recipe needs. And of course, stay healthy. Shoot. <clears throat> all right. Testament just dropped it on the ground and it still works perfectly. So, high quality.